For years, the Maybelline name has been synonymous with quality cosmetics and unsurpassed dedication to making its customer service program number one in the industry. To continue our commitment of providing the best service to our customers, Maybelline recently installed an automated order assembly system manufactured by SI Handling in Easton, Pennsylvania. This system significantly improves the throughput, accuracy, and turnaround time of customer orders, all of which elevate the quality of our customer service program and reaffirm our commitment to providing high-quality customer service. To better understand the operational flow of the system and its key features, let's look at the overall system design. The components of the order assembly system include two independent dispensomatic A-frame order picking systems, a manual pick area for items that are not picked by either dispensomatic, 32 repack stations located on the mezzanine, a recirculating tote conveyor, a conveyor that transports pack boxes from the repack mezzanine to the shipping area, and a computerized collection of subsystems that control all functional operations, including order picking, tracking totes through the picking areas to the repack stations, and diverting boxes to the correct spur in the shipping area. Now let's examine how the system processes customer orders. Customer orders are generally received via electronic data interchange, or EDI, a method of data transfer from the customer's computer direct to Maybelline's order processing system. With EDI, we can gather order information from our geographically deployed customers and receive order data during off hours so that orders are ready for processing the next business day. To begin the order processing cycle, Order files are transferred from our mainframe to the SI Information Management System, or SIMS, located at our manufacturing and distribution facility in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Upon receipt of the order data, the Information Management System performs a cubing analysis that allocates large orders to multiple totes. This cubing analysis determines the number of totes needed for an order based on the order's total volume compared to the volume dimensions of each stock keeping unit, or SKU, in the order. All product information, including volume dimensions, is contained within the system's database. The picking process begins at the merge clerk station where orders are queued into a picking sequence. Based on this sequence, the system matches an order to the number of totes that the cubing analysis calculated to contain the order. Each tote in the system is numbered and barcoded to individually track the tote, the order it contains, and its movement. The system stops the first tote of each order, at which time the merge clerk uses the terminal to verify the order number against a pre-printed packing slip and places the packing slip into the tote. The system automatically releases all totes for the order before stopping the first tote of the next order. A scanner located at the merge station reads each tote's barcode. Then, the system diverts the totes to a conveyor where they proceed to one of two dispensomatic units. If product from either dispensomatic is required, the system will send the tote and the order data to the appropriate dispensomatic controller. The controller then uses the order number to access the picking instructions for each tote. Both SI dispensomatics are completely self-contained automated storage and retrieval systems. Approximately 1,600 dispenser channels are housed within the two dispensomatics. Each product is dispensed by a small electric motor onto a gathering belt that runs through the center of the machine. Each product dispenser can eject from two to six items per second. When the segment of gathering belt to which an order is assigned reaches the end of the machine, the selected products are deposited into a waiting tote. The method of order selection used by the SI dispensomatic allows the system to pick multiple orders simultaneously. Each dispensomatic unit can process approximately 300 orders per hour accurately and efficiently, depending on the order profile. The dispensomatic can be configured to pick a wide variety of products and packages, including chipboard containers, uncarded lipstick tubes, plastic containers, and shrink-wrapped cartons. As the dispensomatic carries out its picking activities, system operators have access to monitors that display information such as order number, pieces picked, insufficient picks, and other data pertinent to the current order. If the dispensomatic is unable to pick the quantity required by an order, 
the system controller sends the tote to a manual correction station where an operator checks the order, verifies all discrepancies, and then returns the tote to the main conveyor. For multiple tote orders, only the totes that require auditing will be diverted into the manual correction station. All remaining totes of the order will proceed to their pre-assigned pack station. Totes requiring products not found in either dispensomatic are automatically diverted into the manual pick area to receive their required items. Order information such as the tote number, product description, pick location, and quantity required is reflected on the monitor of the manual pick controller and on the picking list generated at the station. To execute a manual pick, an operator views the picking list to determine the proper locations for picking, places the items in the tote, and updates the system when the operation is complete. When all manual picking activity has been completed, the operator places the tote back on the main conveyor line. After leaving the manual pick area, totes proceed up an incline conveyor to the mezzanine, where 32 repack stations are located. Totes pass a barcode scanner where they are identified and automatically diverted into the proper repack station. Multiple tote orders are directed to a single repack station. When a repack station has been designated to receive a multiple tote order, the station is locked out to subsequent assignments until the last tote of the order arrives. When the last tote of a multiple tote order arrives at the repack station, the station again becomes available for additional orders. This operational procedure helps to assure the accurate delivery of the correct order to every customer. At the repack station, an operator checks the terminal to verify that all totes have arrived at the station. Next, the operator checks the order number against the actual packing list that was placed into the leading tote. The operator is given a recommended box size to use and is alerted to any special instructions for an order. Next, the operator must select which totes of a multiple tote order are being combined into the same box for accurate container labeling. The repack operator transfers pick merchandise from the tote into the appropriate corrugated box, notes any order discrepancies, places a copy of the packing list into the box, and seals the box for shipping. The operator next requests labels by pressing a single key. Two labels are automatically printed based on the order data passed down from the host. The first label is used for order tracking. This label uses a code 128 barcode that contains the order number, box number, and a divert digit that is used for internal tracking. The second label is the primary shipping label, which is formatted based on the customer's specifications. Finally, the operator must confirm that all repack operations were completed. Empty totes are placed on the middle level of a three-tier conveyor that returns the totes to the merge clerk station for reuse. Pack boxes are placed on the lower conveyor where they pass through a weigh in motion scale and are scanned from overhead. The scale collects the weight, order number, and box number and transfers the data to Maybelline's manifesting system. This information is used to calculate small package freight charges. Once weighed, boxes continue on the package conveyor to the shipping area. The shipping area has four diverts that use spiral chutes to transfer boxes to the floor level. The chutes correspond to the shipping dock locations for United Parcel Service, or UPS, Roadway Package Service, or RPS, Promotional Cycle Display Area, and a staging area for cross-dock and less-than-truck load, or LTL, shipments. A scanner located on the main package conveyor in the shipping area reads the bar-coded shipping label on each box and delivers the box to its appropriate shipping dock or area. Boxes that are diverted to the display area are orders that combine open stock with an empty promotional display. When these orders are complete, they are conveyed through a weigh-in-motion scale and scanned from overhead. The scale collects the actual weight, order number, and box number, and transfers the data to our manifesting system. After the displays and their repack boxes leave the scale, they are transported up an incline conveyor and passed under a secondary scanner. There, the boxes are scanned to determine the routing. Then they are diverted to one of two trailers, United Parcel Service or Roadway Package Service. Once the box weight and order data are collected, an order is considered processed and ready for shipment. This completes the order processing cycle. The automated order assembly system from SI Handling benefits our customers in a number of ways. 
The speed and accuracy of the system will ensure that our customers receive their orders in a complete and timely manner. The system makes optimal use of today's technology, especially data transfer technology like EDI and automated order selection with SI's Dispensomatic. Order turnaround time is reduced, thus minimizing out-of-stock conditions that create the potential for lost sales. The system was designed specifically to support quick response programs such as cross-docking, container labeling, and auto replenishment. Maybelline's commitment to customer satisfaction begins with our complete line of quality cosmetics and carries throughout our organization. The automated order assembly system from SI Handling is a state-of-the-art system unmatched by our competition. Maybelline's goal is to continue to provide the best customer service available. This system will meet or exceed our customers' needs for quick response, accuracy, and flexibility. It ensures Maybelline's future commitment to our customers and their satisfaction.